What's up, guys? This is Game On Podcast. My name is Madam Eve. I'm joined by Madam Didi. Hi. And the famous Mr. Monkey Flop. What is going on, guys? So basically, what we're we're doing here is um we're getting together. We're ta- we have a couple of topics that we have in mind. It's all about gaming, comics, anime, shows. You know, all the good nerdy stuff that we ourselves enjoy and. And you're going to be hearing our comments, you know, things that, you know, what we think about certain things. And then also we're hoping to have um, you guys comment every once in a while, you know, letting us know what you guys think. Um, if there's any topics that or, or issues that you guys want us to talk about or find out about. We're going to be having um, guests, other um, future guests every once in a while. So let's just get the ball rolling and we're going to go ahead and pass it to Mr. Monkey Flop. All right, so since this is our very first podcast, I thought it would be fitting, since it is Game On Podcast, uh, to discuss what our favorite game of all time is. Oh. So while you, while you guys are thinking about that, unless you, you already hmm. know. I am a big fan of the Lego games. That's just my thing, all right? So like, I have... I've played um, Pirates. I've played, um, let's see what's the other. Ooh, Batman was like my all-time favorite. Yeah, that um, one was good. Yeah, um, one and two. Um, I played Marvel. I'm not really a Marvel person. I'm more of a DC person. Sorry, guys. Um, Wasn't Marvel more of a lengthy game? It was a lot longer. I feel like it, it took me a lot longer to, to do things. But at the same time, I'm kind of worried that I felt that it was dragged in long because like i said i'm not a marvel fan because when i had batman dude i was like right into that sucker and also um lord of the rings i had actually madam Didi. she played um lord of the rings with me and i believe you played the pirates one with me as well right or no i I played like once the pirates and then you beat it without me <laughs> and then the only time i played lord of the rings was when i glitched it and we had to start over again oh my you know what that no for reals that is i don't know what what it is um i always feel like the lego games they do glitch a lot they do like there'll be moments where i'm like oh yeah i got everything and all of a sudden glitch and i have to start that sucker all the, that not the whole thing but like that level and I'm like, no, because. But you love the game. So I love the can, game. No, so yeah. you continue playing it. Yes, I do. <laughs> I am guilty of that. Without me. Okay. No, no matter how many glitches or. <laughs> you know what? Save I, mess When ups. I get into the game, D, I get into the game. All right. So if you're not there, that's your fault. You should come over more often. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah. So do you, do you have anything else to comment on that? Um. No, I, I don't want to interrupt you. I do have the the latest Batman game, and I'm I'm ready. To, I want to play it. I just feel guilty starting that one, and the fact that I just like basically put the Marvel one to the side. Cause you plan them every single Lego game. I have except for Marvel. Except for Marvel, yeah. so you kind of feel bad that you haven't planned it. Yeah. That's why you haven't touched Lego Batman Three. Yeah, yes, guilty. That yes, makes sense. Charge. Yeah. Madam Didi, what is your favorite game of all time? Pokemon. I know. <laughs> oh, how did I know you were going to say that? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Actually, it's between two. It's between Pokemon and then the 3D, or the 3D, the DS version of Rune Factory. Mm, Just wow. because those are like, those are like the, Pokemon's like the only game I can beat by myself. And then Rune Factory. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're being it's real. true. So. I, I can't play shooter games so I suck at them. And then Rune Factory is like that like anime RPG kind of style game where like I still suck at it, but it's not strategy based. So I can just like over level and then just like click the A button. Yeah, and then you play Pokemon without me. You know, you played <laughs> Lego Batman without me. I oh, never oh, even played oh, oh okay, is that okay. the reason? Is that the reason? Is yes. that what it is? Oh, okay. Yes. So I guess That's I should not lend you my strategy books anymore, you know, since... So then I guess I should well, you help st- you You still Marvel. use strategy guides for I, Pokemon? I do. I just love having it because um, most of the time it always has extra little facts and little fun things that I would a lot of times like pass or miss. 
because I don't know it's there. Well, I guess strategy guides would be good for like a Pokemon game. Because the only of- thing, the only thing, one one issue that I did have with the X Y one was that um, one thing I liked about the the ones before before that one, the the guidebooks, is that this one this time the book was smaller and it didn't have um what you call it the pokedex characters on like all the poke the pokedex on yeah. it it was like separate and that really uh, bothered me because i actually like having off. yeah i know i like it because um the pokedex on on the guidebooks like you know it's helpful like oh look, look how it looks once it evolves oh and then it yeah. sometimes it used to have like little notes on the side of where you can um, get them evolved or find them or what do they mm-hmm. need and stuff like that so whatever. so those are your two what what is your top though probably pokemon i pokemon. play that one more pokemon <laughs> yeah mainly because i got like the wii version of it of like room factory yeah <sighs> and i guess it was okay it's just like i didn't like the storyline or like they changed some of the things so i like the original like the first and second one it's much more easier to play, nice. but Pokemon definitely. Cause nice. I How about you, Mr. Myself. Monkey Flop? You're over mm. here asking us. Yeah. Well, I, w- I was getting into it. I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Guess. Call of Duty. I knew you were gonna say that. No. No, you are not Call of Duty. Completely wrong. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No. Is it? Is it? Evolve. No, no, no. My favorite game of all time is Metal Gear Solid, because yeah. I played the hell out of that game. And I beat it repeatedly. Like, after I beat it, I got the rest the, of that. The very, very first the, one. The Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation 1, yes. Because hmm. after I beat it the first time, I was hooked. And I had to keep playing it over and over and over again. Hmm. Um, I don't know how many times I beat it. It's probably an unhealthy number. But <laughs> <laughs> that is my favorite game of all time. My favorite game at the moment that would kind of be hard um, just to tell you right now because there's so many new games that have come out. I am playing Evolve a lot and I'm playing Secret Ponchos. Those are Secret the... Secret Ponchos. Let me tell you something. So I just recently started trying that game out this week and I will tell you the truth in the beginning, I hated it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I hated it with a passion. <laughs> Only because I couldn't understand the stupid controls. I was like, ah! And freaking button smashing. Like, <laughs> um, but it was mainly because I wanted to play with the chick. Because obviously I'm and, a chick. And that's one of the most hard And she is to difficult. Pick. And so I was just thinking that altogether the game was going to be that way. So I was just like, ugh, forget it. I don't even want to play no more. You no, know? you were. You were like, the controls are stupid. Who invented these <laughs> controls? <laughs> and I'm like, you gotta give the game a chance. I couldn't. I I didn't try the the chick out, so I didn't understand what you were talking about oh until I get my hands on on the what what is her name? Matador. I think she's, so. Yeah, okay. she's the type of matador dude. Okay. She's right there, like Toro, uh, yeah. Toro. So until I get my hands on her and I tried her. You got your hands on her. <laughs> <laughs> and I tested her out. Well, you tested purposes. her out too. All right. <laughs> and I tested her out for the first time. Um, then I understood why you thought the game was why stupid I hated it with and why you hated it with the passion. Because yeah. that's not a good character to start out. With, oh to no, be honest. it's not. No, it's not. So right now, the one that I that I am using is a little redheaded dude. Was it the kid, kid or something like that? Kid red. There you go, the kid. Um, I, kid. I knew it had kid in it right um i am playing in it i am blah, blah, blah. i am playing it now with that dude now i like it love it it's really fun especially like um i like to do the split screen i like to have somebody next to me that i think that's my thing too is when i play games i like having someone next to me playing the game just because I, I feel like i get more into it and stuff, just having yeah, someone there. Yeah, because there's you know. more interaction if you have somebody sitting yeah, next to that's, you, that's my as thing. opposed to talking over the internet. Yeah, that's why you know, that's like when um, Madam Didi plays Pokemon, even though like we're not playing, you know, 
the same game at the same time together, like split screen or something. Just the fact of having her there is <laughs> very fun, you know, because okay, we talk to each should, other get, about okay, it, okay, you know. Okay, okay, okay. That's enough. That's enough. I don't like playing with other people, like like two on two or versus, not like like next to each other, but like battling someone. Oh, Cause why? Because when like they beat if you, they're better than you. <laughs> they're better than you then it's then you know it sucks for them because i suck at playing especially like shooting games like i know if i played two or ponchos you guys would probably hate me because i'd be losing all the time <laughs> but it, it's not the the typical uh shooter game it's not uh, no it's, it's not a, it's, it's um, got a different play style it's, yeah you shoot but it's, it's kind of like like a battling thing too it's an arcade you know? type of, of I, shooter. I, I think it's cool i think you'll enjoy it madam dd like to play it and, and if you play split screen you you can do domination and it's 2v2 so you can work as a team yeah and then it helps because if yeah. the other person's better you know you don't feel as bad because they <laughs> help you win i'm um, just throwing that there <laughs> <laughs> all right um i had i have something i want to talk about um cool. so again i am a big nerd um I don't know if you guys know, or you guys heard about the whole, how they're doing, um, they already started the production for Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes? No? I yes? heard no? that they started. I, I so, read it. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude, I've been waiting forever for them to hurry up and do another movie. Just because I'm super into it. I like them. Um, it's my thing. So, on the 17th of this month, February, um, they announced that they had started production in Australia. And and so, I was just like, yeah, finally! It's about time! Yeah. You know, and so, um, and on top of that, you know, I'm a big Orlando Bloom fan. Oh, get out of here. He is just so delicious. Yeah. So, um, at first, it was rumored that he was going <laughs> to that he was going to star in it but i i just read that he is that he is going to come out in it hopefully it's true um and that the the reason <laughs> the, <you're stupid. laughs> the reason um that they're going to use him too is because his son from the movie like the movie of um his character will turner uh-huh. is going to actually play a big part in um the plot or something like that so i was like whoa that's very interesting yeah because then then they can probably carry the movie on with the son okay now i don't know because you know (laughs) the one that carries the movie is jack sparrow yes i'm a Orlando bloom fan you know but jack sparrow is the the shiznit you know in everything so johnny depp is gonna play jack sparrow again um so so you think you think that jack sparrow carries the movie well he is the whole he is the movie he he is the he's movie. captain right. jack sparrow yeah, yeah excuse me sorry uh, that's captain right captain jack sparrow captain yeah and, I, I, and I, Capitan. I i guess i i mean i've watched all of them i'm not a like a super I nerdo fan I where have, i watch i have all the movies on blu-ray just you know so you I'll know admit, I, I don't think i've seen all the movies completely i have i've seen them um, um, maybe a little too much you, know. you speaking of pirates you still owe me the Lego Pirates Platinum. You promised that you would. I did not. I don't remember. You promising promised that, that, that no. you would help me. Hey, so Dan, don't you have something you want to talk about, Madam D? <laughs> huh? What, just, just saying. You what know? do you have to bring to the table? Yeah. What do you got? What do I have? What do, okay. So, I guess since I'm a Pokemon fan, and I know I don't have the next two games, <laughs> which <laughs> shame on you. Just hoping, but anyway, I wanted to talk about like. The new 3DS that came out, Ooh, the new yeah. 3DS XL, and I don't know, I kind of, I don't see, like, if they're going to make games only specific to that, or, like, do you have to have it? Oh, you know, like, like how the 3D games now, you, you have to buy 3D games in order to play on the 3DS. Um. Yeah, so I'm like, or can you get, like, just the regular, like, 3DS XL? Because I know I want to get an XL, but... I don't. I really don't feel the new 3ds as much as other people. What is the difference of the? the okay, 3DS so now? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. It's a just the extra button or something, right? It's like a bunch of extra buttons and like a new like button to control like camera view. Like you know how like a in the shooter games you have like you have to control uh, the camera yeah. your movement. 
they have like a button for that. <clears throat> and I think that's for like the Monster Hunt game or something like that. Mm. Okay, I'm not a big Nintendo fan, so I don't keep up too much about it. But I did read that one of the big features in the new 3DS is the 3D itself. Um, you know how when you look at the the 3DS a certain way, mm -hmm. the screen changes. Yeah. Well, with the new 3DS, you can quote me if I'm wrong, or if you guys are watching, let me know in the comment section below. But when you turn it, it won't like change shades or or anything like that. You hmm. will still be able to see the picture clearly. Oh, I get what you're saying. But. I also heard that Nintendo was, was like <clears throat> Madam Didi said, was that Nintendo's trying to um, have just 3DS games. Like no more 2Ds, right? That's what you mean? No, that yeah, no, yeah. No more 2Ds. The, the old school ones. Yeah. Just yeah. DS without the 3 uh, But I want to know if like they're going to make games that you can only play on the new 3DS. Or it's just going to be like, no matter, you just have to have 3DS because... My 3DS is basically just like a two hundred dollar like Pokemon machine game. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna be I, I like that's probably all I'm gonna be playing like all the like Pokemon games. So it's like, should I get the new 3DS just because it's a new 3DS, or should I just like go the cheaper option and just get the regular old XL? I don't. I don't, I don't know. know. I have so many DSs. I have the old school ones, and then I have the new ones. I think the only one I don't have is the, the the I one, which is. DSi? The DSi? Yeah, it's the only one I have, but I have the one before that, and then I have the the big Excel one. Yeah. And then I have the 3DS, and I ha we also have the the 3D Excel. That's the pink one that I have. So I'm like, do I have to buy another one? Dear Lord, I'm gonna have a whole collection and be able to start <laughs> giving them out. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Like, invite everybody over, have a DS party. Well, actually, that is what I would do. I would, ha I would lend my DSs but so we can play Mario Party. That was my thing. What I was going to say is, uh, let's let the viewers like, talk, about, the, yeah, it. talk be... about it in the comment section below. Mm -hmm. What do you think Madame Didi should get? Should she s just stick with her 3DS or maybe get the 3D XL, right? Yeah. Right. Or should she get? One. Or should the, the she new, get the new, new one. one? Yeah, that that would be nice. That way, there you oh, go. And then, another thing about that one is that like they have like a, a new 3ds, but it's the smaller version. And from what I read, it's like in Japan and like Europe. It's coming to Europe and Australia. But what I read for that one for the Japan one was that you can change the cover of it. Ooh, you could buy like, covers. You have, like customizable covers of it. But they're not going to release that here. So then that's what got me mad because I thought it was really cute that you can change like the covers. Like how you buy covers and, for phones. Yeah, but it's yeah. like the hard cover for yeah. it. It's not yeah. like the like Very skins or something. It's like the actual hard cover of like you can change like the back and the front. Dude, that will be, be super awesome. They need, they should do that here. How many people are going to be, you know, buying yeah. those? A lot of people are. Everybody always wants to buy a cover. Like, oh my god, like, they're super cute. You know? Yeah, so I think custom they have that in Japan already and everything. But it's not coming here. They Dude, they get so much stuff XL before and... us. It's they not even do, funny. They do, man. A lot of times you see, like, oh, man, that's awesome. Only for Japan, you know? It's like... <sighs> I swear, there's. I would play a lot more 3DS games. But a lot of the ones I want are like anime based games but they're region locked oh. and they're region locked because of japan like you can only play them on like that a japanese sucks. 3ds that's messed and up so i'm like oh, why <laughs> what? since we're speaking about nintendo i think in, in my opinion uh one of the things that nintendo does right is the games that they come out with because everybody is expecting Pokemon. Everybody's expecting Mario. Mario Party. Um, Super Smash Brothers is a yeah. big thing. They have some really good titles. They mess up a lot uh, with the consoles and things like that. But I think that they do a really good job with uh, just the games that they come out with. and then Well, that's the, what's carrying it, honestly. What, it's just, it's, I, well, I always only hear Pokemon and Mario. Pokemon yeah. Oh, and, and right Mario. now, Super Smash Brothers. Super Smash Brothers is which definitely is and those basically little Mario. Things that which ones? 
the little amiibo things for like the Wii U. Oh uh, yeah. You carry like your character stats and like some of the characters you can't really find in the stores. Like some are out of stock. I think what bothers me is that because I have the Wii U. And what bothers me is that you have to still buy batteries to charge that sucker. Like, why can't it be like the PS4 where you connect it and you can charge it for a bit and then that's it. Like, you constantly always have to buy batteries. Even the rechargeable ones, like, you know, sometimes they get messed up, the batteries, and you're like, oh, I buy a new pack, you know, and stuff. And I think that's one, one, one of their issues with their consoles is that, well, at least for me, I guess it's the whole. I hate that I have to put batteries in it. Yeah, you know that's just annoying. Yeah, that that does suck, and they shouldn't cut costs for a battery. Mm, I mean, mm. plenty of other consoles do have batteries, like you said. Yeah, but anyway, so for my Star Wars people, who Star Wars? Star Wars. You know, I love Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. We're all gonna geek out right now. Oh my god, Star Wars is my thing. No, I'll, I'll, okay. You had me at Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. Alright, so it's mainly okay, I just wanna get your opinion on it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, there's the old school Star Wars, but I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of the new the new like Star Wars Rebels and all that, you know, it's more like based for for the little kids, like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. For sure. I think that's cool and all. I'm just getting worried. I hope that eventually they don't overdo it, you know, as far as the storylines yeah. go. Yeah. You know, that's that's just like my thing that I'm afraid of because you know, Star Wars is awesome. Yeah. The it's, way it, it is awesome. You know. And and I and again I am super excited for this year in the summer the uh-huh. new Star Wars movie. Yeah. I Definitely. am so gonna start working on my my freaking costume for that sucker. You're gonna cosplay for the, the Heck release? Yeah. Dude, I would be so down. You know we you know, already... how, how can I get a Boba Fett costume? <laughs> I got my little sewing machine ready. I'm be like, you know, just like working on my on my thing. I am so down to go. It's gonna be exciting, you know, and stuff. And have my lightsabers for the nest. Would and we stuff like be allowed that. to take those in the movie theater? I don't know if you will, but at least I'm going to have my outfit. I'm gonna start figuring out and searching. You know, getting ideas and stuff like that. <clears throat> but again, back to what I was saying was, um, what is your guys' opinion uh, on the Star Wars Rebels? The way I see it, I, say, I think they want to make sure that they get the attention of, like, the new generation of kids and all that. You know, because I, I see, I feel like it's more based for little kids yeah. and all that. But They want to catch their attention at a young age to carry them through so that that way like they're like oh my god i want to see the movies too you know i i I see mom nerdy now i want to get out too but does the rebels have anything to do with like the original stars isn't it like different characters and like there's there's different characters yeah but like lando and them they they come out and stuff like that i think it's but it's like a spin-off of the original right yeah yeah so honestly i'll I'll tell you the truth i only seen like one or two episodes because um, I just I just I haven't put time aside to watch it. I do want to watch them. Don't get me wrong. And most likely I am gonna you know bust bench on on watching episodes and stuff. Um, just to to get an idea. Cause I think it's cute. But then again, I'm a girl, so I'm like, oh my god, that's super cute. You know, and, and stuff I haven't like that. really watched a full episode, so I can't really talk too much about that. The only thing that I'm concerned about is. Star Wars is awesome, and it is awesome to walk into pretty much any store right now and purchase merchandise. And yeah, it's like from, everywhere now. It's everywhere, yeah. But my concern is they're gonna burn it out, and that I do is, not that want that to That is something that that I worry about too. Like like I said, like overdoing it, like too much. That's my thing. Is I hope they don't, you know, because I love it. Uh, and I'm in love with it, you know, and I love nerding out for it and stuff. And like I, and like you said, I, I get excited. Like, oh my god, look, they have stuff here, and I'll, of course, end up spending all my cash and then going broke. I get a Boba Fett keychain from Target. Like, what? 
that didn't happen like a couple of years ago. Yeah. But ever since Disney took over, they've been That's marketing the thing. Just Star like, Wars. And, just like now all of a sudden like, you're seeing a bunch of Marvel stuff ever yeah. since Di- Disney got their hands on it. You know what? I didn't even think about that. everywhere. You know? That's true. Movies and everything. It's just, again, it's one of those things like don't like over overdo it and then like people get like annoyed or tired of it yeah which so far i don't see that right now because i'm i'm guilty i think once the new movie comes out it might die down the new one like yeah like once the new movie comes out like you have like the hardcore fans still going excited for it but then you have like the people who are just there because it's star wars and they're using it as like an iconic symbol yeah yeah might go away and everything but then i feel like this like you'll still see it in stores but you probably won't see it like as big as it is right now like Mm -hmm. i think the closer you get to the movie like release date like the more you're gonna see it in stores and yeah and the more you're gonna see me in the store (laughs) but but look at it also in in a different perspective star wars has lived on um ever since the beginning and fans have Since always... the beginning of time. <laughs> <laughs> the galaxy far. <laughs> oh, no, but, yeah. but isn't that true? No, Star yeah, Wars yeah. fans have yeah. always been around. We're faithful. Faithful. Committed. To the cause. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a bunch of stuff in my house. No, not me. <laughs> oh, man. No, but yeah. Um, so, again... Um, write your comments down below, you know, let us know what you think, you know, what, what are your, your thoughts on the, on the subject. And if you guys have seen Star Wars Rebels, like put it, write it on there. Like, what do you guys think about that? You know, um, should it be something I should go binge and watch episodes after episode after episode of, is it worth it? So monkey flop, anything else you want to throw out there? Um, well, I just wanted to talk about like DLC in in the gaming industry right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you guys are probably not too much into into all that stuff, but I wanted to throw that out there since it is our first podcast, and it, there is a lot of talk about um, uh, game DLC lately. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen the, it. The Order eighteen eighty six is a new game that just came out. Yeah, and everybody is hating on the game. The game was super hyped up, and everybody was excited for it. And everybody, everybody um, pre-ordered it and went crazy for this game. Uh, and then they got the game, took it home, and it's about f- a five-hour playthrough. And then that's it. What? And but five but hours for one game. Five hours. For, five was hours. PS Four. PS Four. Five Xbox? hours for PS Four. Five hours. And it's. I, I could be wrong on the st- statistics and everything, but they said it was about 60 to 80% cinematic. So you're watching pretty much uh, a, a movie. And There's you're hardly, barely playing uh, hardly any, game. any gameplay. Now, I haven't played the game myself. This is just what I'm going off of from other people. Yeah, because I've, I've been seeing them like announce it. I've been seeing them posting about it. I, I didn't really know what it was about. I saw yeah. that it was. I like, saw the ratings. Yeah, like, I saw like oh that it's that it's based on like back in the days, and again it says right there eighteen whatever whatever and yeah. stuff, and so I was just thinking like wow this must be something big because I can't no, but it, it it is big, and every news outlet has been covering it nonstop, um, <clears throat> but the gamers have come out and like spoke out about this, and what the what the company's plan is to uh, release DLC. To continue the story, so oh, you get. Wow. In, in, but but this is what I wanted to talk about because this is starting to become a trend in the gaming community. Yeah, is that a game gets released not complete? You think you're getting the full game, but so you, you're paying you, the whole full amount. You're paying like a sig- regular game, but then they want you to spend more money on on uh, more gameplay. Yeah. So the, you end up what much. like spending like uh, over a hundred bucks uh, just uh, to play an uh, entire one game. game. Uh, yeah. But it, about a hundred dollars yet so basically what they're doing is with a lot of games not all the games because there's still a lot of good games Mm -hmm. that get released and they they're 60 bucks when you get it brand new and you just buy like skins and stuff like that no there's some there's some games that that you can play through the whole year 
and not have to buy any DLC and just enjoy it. Yeah. But now with this new trend with the Order 1886 and then even the Destiny story mode, um, what they're doing is releasing a piece of the game. And if you want to play the whole game, you'll have to play pay more money in DLC. Because a lot of people are upset about the price of games being $60. Yeah. So the gaming industry doesn't want to raise the price of the game um, because they feel nobody's going to buy it. So they're kind of tricking gamers in a way saying, oh, the game's 60 bucks, but then here's all this DLC that if you buy the game, you're going to want to buy this DLC because it's going to make sense and you have to complete the game. Yeah. So what do you, what do you think <laughs> about that? That's kind of messed up, though, man. I could understand, like, having DLC if you want to have, like, an extra um, outfit for your character and stuff, you know, like, to customize it, like, you know, and stuff like that. The whole extra piece that, so you can play the entire game type stuff, I don't know about that. That's kind of messed up. Because you're yeah, already, like, spending like a bunch of money and then you're going to... You're gonna end up spending more. That's kind of like I don't know. That I I, I don't yeah, feel I that. Feel like DLC should be like for like extra content outside of the game. Like you shouldn't have to like buy the actual storyline of the game just to finish it. Like it should just be like if you want like an extra route or like an extra thing for an your character. Map. It shouldn't be like like you have to. Oh, here's half the game. If you want the rest, you have to buy it. I mean. But again, I haven't. Sound like an I, app. Yeah, I haven't played the full. Uh, I haven't played or seen gameplay of uh, the Order eighteen eighty six yet, um, so I don't know. From what I hear, that the game is five hours and the story finishes on on that. So that's what I had to say about that. All right. Next topic. Yeah. You do you have anything else you want to throw out there, Dee? Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So I had just I know that I, I told you that I, I would like finish watching Blood Plus. <laughs> the thing was, <laughs> oh my stuff. gosh, how long did that <laughs> take? I've been waiting okay, for you okay, to hurry up and finish topic, it. Though. That's not my topic, though. That's not my topic. Okay. I was gonna start it, and then I started watching something else. Just, like, a couple of episodes, because I remember I watched it, and then, like, I don't know, it kind of felt awkward, but I just wanted to, like, since, like, I know you're getting into anime, but, like, you watch, like, some of the older stuff, and I guess once you get to, like, the newer stuff, you're probably going to notice this a bit more, but, like, fan service in there, like, does it make you, like, uncomfortable, you know, like, like, boobage and stuff, like, oh, you know, like sexualizing the character. Oh, my gosh. Like, I started watching, it was, it's called Moggy, and then, like, Sometimes they'll have it, because, like, this one character likes, like, big boob girls, and, like, sometimes they'll, like, show it and everything. And I don't know, it makes me feel uncomfortable. And I know people are just like, well, it's just the way it is. It's just a cartoon. But I don't know, will that, like, affect the way you want to watch something? Like, if you know there's going to be fan <laughs> it's service not, it's, it's, it's not going to affect <laughs> dudes wanting to watch it. They're going to be like, ho, 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 guys, like, more boobies. <laughs> and stuff. Is it, isn't it, like, 90% think... of of viewers are male and then that's yeah. probably why you know um I yeah have, i have no problem with yeah like cleavage. most of the fan service <laughs> in like animes are for men and i know they get mad like there is this one anime called like free and it's basically like a swimming like a sports anime and it's and it's swimming and it's guys and it's like it's supposed to be fan service for the girls because it's all like muscles and everything mm. oh, man. and it got male viewers mad Oh, so they're they getting started, upset about it, yeah, but like, when it's the other putting, way around, nothing could be said. <laughs> yeah, that that's right. The they were saying that they were <laughs> putting this like male standards, like no guy's gonna have that many muscles, and you have like the girls here, like really, we have like all these clips from all these other animes where these girls have like exploding like, boobs, like, triple D's, triple <laughs> yeah. F's, not even man size Z. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gonna start a new alphabet. <laughs> Oh my god. And yeah, and then like, I don't know, it made me think, because I know like watching Blood Plus, which is a little bit older than that, which it doesn't have anything, and I'm just like, can't we like go back to that? Yeah, you know, I, yeah, I get it, I get what you're saying. 
Yeah. Like, I, I'm not saying you can't have a big boob character. But that, like, if that that's was, all you're focusing on. Yeah. Because that was one of my things was um, because I, I am, like, trying to start watching anime. And so there'll be some where I'm like, oh, this one looks cool. And then I, so I watched the first episode and I'm like, oh crap, am I, am I watching, um, freaking anime porn or something, you know, because <laughs> I'm seeing a little too much on this thing. And so then I'm like, all right, skip next. Like, let me try a different one and all that. You but, know, but yeah, it, I get what you're saying. In my opinion on that is, I, I'm just speaking for myself. I don't know about the rest of, uh, the dudes out there, but you guys gotta let me know in the comment section below. Anime boobs don't turn me on. Like it does. I don't. I don't get why. <laughs> you know why it's such why, a big thing. Why it's why such they a have big to thing. Have it. You know, like if I see Scarlett Johansson on on TV, oh, like Lord. oh man, my my mouth, my jaw drops. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I have to get the, I have to get the mop and like freaking clean up the the yes. drool and stuff. Oh, but Lord. I I don't understand. Um, you know. The, the anime sexy girls or or even like the the anime porn <laughs> like I've never I've never watched it like that is just weird <laughs> wow. to me no we to went me, from all from no all but this to like... no no but you get you you brought <laughs> no, up the subject it, yeah. about you you guys brought it up so I'm just I'm just <laughs> throwing it out there I was oh. watching it and it made me feel kind of comfortable because I feel like when I watch something and then like. It has like too much fan service where it's like not focusing on the plot, it's focusing on the fan service. That it feels awkward when someone walks in and that's the first thing they call it. <laughs> are you watching porn? Dee, and you're like, what are you watching? Yeah. And you're and just stuck like, there like, uh Yeah, that, I can that's tell you true. the plot. Like they're supposed to be fighting this monster, but like they're like, Really? All I see is like a half naked girl on your screen. It's like, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just one of the characters and that's their moment. <laughs> That's their five, 15 minutes of fame. Oh, Lord. Yeah. No, I get you, because I've, I've run into that issue where I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, this doesn't, this feels weird. Let me just, like, let me go back to Sailor there's so Moon. Many, like, <laughs> yeah, there's so many animes I want to, like, tell you to watch, but then I feel like I've put up with some of these fan service, and it's just like, <laughs> I can't really recommend it to, like, someone, especially if it's, like, a friend and they're like can you give me something to watch and you're like i can but i don't know how you feel for like fan service i don't want you to watch it and then like have someone be like, come up to me and be like why'd you make a madam Didi just just like freaking request for me to watch i know right <laughs> oh yeah nah yeah but that's no i i understand what you're saying you know about that and stuff so yeah i i just i don't i don't get it honestly i don't get it so do you have another topic or I think um pretty much that's all I have for now to talk about. I don't know if you guys have anything else, any other um, topics you guys want to throw out there, or I have a Lego one. You have a Le- ooh, is it the Jurassic Park one? Yeah. Yeah. It is. yeah. yeah. You, you knew I was coming up. With that I one. saw. I saw you favorited my my retweet about it. I saw that. Yeah, oh like, man. I read it and I was so confused because at the same time I love Jurassic Park and I I really want a game like that. But like seeing how they do like the Batman or the Marvel, I don't know how they're gonna do the Jurassic World because there's not as many characters. Nah. No. Yeah. Um. I saw it. I saw it because like I said, I just you know I got. I got the Batman one. I got it for Christmas. Yay. Um, and all that. And then uh, I was going through I was going through my tweets and I'm like, what do I see here? Can it be another Lego game? <laughs> but that's my thing. <laughs> and so I was like, oh my God. I was like, oh, I'm going to retweet this. And I knew it. I knew it. I knew, I knew, I knew it. That you were going to see it and you're going to be like, Wah! you know? <laughs> So when I got when I got my, my notification like oh Madam Didi favorite day I was like yeah I knew that I knew she was gonna be like Evie. it's Legos it's Lego Which time. Is one thing. I feel like I don't know if I like would like it as a Lego game or if I would hope that it was like a non Lego game because I don't know no. how they're gonna like do it oh my god please the yeah. way I've seen you I mean, play. I- when you play with me, you don't even care. You're just like, ah, destroy everything. Destroy. No, I think, 
I I feel like I'm I don't like it because yeah I, I get what you're saying because that's how I was with um with like pirates when I was playing it like it it tried to keep the same story but there was like a cute couple of things that they changed you know I guess just to go more with the game and I didn't it didn't bother me not that much it didn't it did, you know what not at all it didn't bother me at all like even like the Lord of the Rings ones yeah like mm-mm. yeah it was cute it was yeah cute. I I had no problem with it it was cool. So I don't feel like, like you'll have an issue with it, even you know, even though that you're like a super Jurassic Park fan, you know, always rewatching the movies over and over again. Yeah, I see you. Mhm. Mm-hmm. You know, um, speaking of of Lego games and things like that, there's a lot of games. There's a lot of movies that have uh, tried to cross over to the gaming uh, scene, and. A lot of these gaming companies that try to make the movies into games fail at it. But with the Lego series, they've done a really good job. I think with, they have. With Star Wars, with uh, Lego Pirates, with Lego Batman, even Lego Marvel. Um, it's really enjoyable and it sticks to the gameplay. Alright, so does anybody else have anything to talk about? Any topics? I have one topic. It's on the Digimon remake. I don't know if you guys watch it. No, I wasn't really a Digimon person. Yeah, well, they're going to remake it, and I guess, like, a lot of people are kind of on board and not on board because they changed the entire art style of it. Really? I'm not sure how you guys... Isn't that, like, what happened with Sailor Moon, too, though? Yeah, like, the whole, like, Sailor Moon or, like, the Powerpuff Girls, how, like, the art style changes to, like, this new age. So, I don't know if, like, do you guys think that a new art style is a good idea for, like, remakes? Or they should just try to stick more to, like, the original for it? Well, I don't know because I, like, I saw the Sailor Moon stuff. Um, and I saw how it, it looks different. And it kind of did throw me off. The same thing with, like, Powerpuffs. But I think it's like when you're like a super fan. Yeah, that's you what You know, I was that's say. the thing. It, yeah. it, like, it affects you because you're like, no, you can't take away the original. Yeah, you want the that, original. That's how it has to be. But again, I think it's the same thing like, with the, like when I was talking about the whole Star Wars Rebel thing. I think it's they're trying to get more into the the newer generation, like the, the new kids, and trying, I guess, yeah. trying to get them into that, the same stuff. So that's they're, probably what's happening with like your Digimon thing. Yeah, they're trying to grab a new audience, but then the the hardcore fans, like you said, are right there. Like, what is this new thing that you guys are trying to throw at my face? Mm-hmm. I want my original stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. It could go either way. It could be awesome. It could be amazing. And it, it's yeah, just that, that, well, that's what I think. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, like. For, for me, I personally, I like the new art style just because it reminds me of another anime that I watched. And I think the art style is great, but other people are like, no, you should have stuck more to, like, the art style of the original. Like, this, like, new style thing is just going to, like, ruin it. But to me, it's like, they're just, like, repeating it. So if they do, like, the same art style, it's going to feel too much, like, the same. Like, there has to be a difference. Like, the Sailor Moon one, yeah, the art was different, but they had, like, they added the new thing that the original author wanted, mm-hmm. like the whole sequence, the whole um, her transformation sequence. The author originally wanted to do like a CGI kind of three D. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. And so the new one, they included that, and that I think that threw everyone off because no one was used to it. Mm. Yeah. So um, I I don't know. I think remakes. It's either it's like a fifty fifty chance. Like they're gonna like if they go too much different, it's not gonna be the same but at the same time i think like a new style is also good but like if you guys have like an opinion on this you should definitely write it in the comment section below i kind of want to see how what you guys think about this new art style whether it's digimon sailor moon or just any other show yeah that that would be something cool to talk about and and to see what what everyone else thinks and stuff uh off that note I do have one more thing uh, I wanted to discuss and and see what you guys think. Um, I had read not that long ago. I know they talked about it before, but before it was like more um, like rumor. It wasn't nothing. Not well, it still is nothing is set in stone, 
But there is one thing I read about, and that was um, Disneyland thinking, Disneyland and Disney World thinking about making a, a Star Wars land. Going back to Star Wars, guys. Um, and stuff. And I was like, Dude, that oh, would be heck awesome. yeah. You know, that that'll be, that'll be sweet. That, and stuff. Um, so, but right now, what they're still discussing is if they should take out a whole section to create Star Wars land or another one was um, just to um, redo and uh, to reduce Tomorrowland. You know how there's Tomorrowland and stuff? Uh-huh. Yeah. They're thinking about maybe redoing that and, and, and adding the, the more Star Wars stuff on there. Um, one... One I of the can lands- totally see them remaking Tomorrowland into a Star Wars land. Yeah, I, I can see that too. But like, I feel like if they do do that, it's just going to be like a small little little section and stuff. I'll be more excited for a whole, a whole area to be all Star Wars. So one yeah, of the- I think a bigger area is much better. Yes. And yes, like- yes, yes. They bought Star Wars. That's probably going to be like their biggest franchise other than like Marvel- yeah. And having like a whole entire section might bring in more people. I yeah. think it'll bring a lot. And so what they were thinking about was one of the areas they were t- they're, they're, they discussed about taking out was Toontown. Either Toontown or um what was that place called? Big Thunder Ranch. Autotopia? Oh, never mind. No, yeah, Autotopia was one of them. Audio- Autotopia was if they do just do like one new like ride or something so what they were they were saying about autotopia was taking out autotopia and also they were thinking about taking out the submarine ride where where, which is now finding nemo i kind of like the submarine ride you know just because you know it's cute and stuff i can see i can see um autotopia being taken out now that they have cars land in california adventure because it's basically the same thing and so what they're thinking about using um, Autotopia for, if anybody's been in Disneyland, is they're actually thinking about um, redoing that whole area to look like the forest of Endor, you know, what? and having like a, a speeder chase type ride, like, uh, like when they were going right there and they were chasing be so everyone. Ah, uh, yeah, no, that would be, I would, I would, man, like, that would be incredible. I think I would ride that a lot of times. Yes. Like yeah. It. So I was excited about that. But that's just that one area. I want a whole little thing. I want a whole land of all Star Wars. That would be freaking awesome. So my opinion is take out Toontown. Like hardly, it's like it's boring. There's hardly anything there. And then they close it super early. Might as well use that area for something that's going to bring um bring them money. You know, because you're going to have a bunch of people going in there, spending money on the shops. And if there's awesome freaking rides like that speeder idea, heck yeah, I am yeah, down. Yeah, I, I, I agree. But at the same time, you're probably going to hurt some Toontown fans' <laughs> feelings be- <laughs> because um, they're, they're a fan of Toontown. Um, but that being said, but see, I, I agree with you on Toontown is boring. They could do a lot more with it. I feel that... Toontown is kind of a wasted space. I feel like it died down they, from what it used to be. They they, the, the roller coaster is, is cool. It's a little kitty roller coaster, but it's cool. And then uh, the Roger Rabbit ride is is cool too. But there's really nothing else there, uh, nothing to motivate you to want to go each and every day, unless you're just gonna hang out. Yeah, like and talk they, with they don't friends. even they don't even use. There's a trolley in there, and they don't even use that thing. Has not been on. For like ever. And so I know a lot of people go over there because, oh, you know, we're going to go see Mickey in his house and stuff. But they already have Mickey in Main Street. You know, all the characters come out in Main Street. So it's like, that's where I'm like, there's no point in having Toontown if you already have them there. Plus the fact that there really isn't much to do in, to- in Toontown anymore. Like, I, I feel like when it when they first opened it. They they were there and and it, and it was up and going and now it's like to me from what I see every time when I go it's like it's dying down and and like I said they even they close it super early I I just don't see any sense in it anymore like from yeah, like I said should, from when it used to be they should just like 
make Toontown smaller or like move it to like another little place. They shouldn't have like a really big area for Toontown if it's not getting a lot of people. Especially if they want to put like something that is going to bring in more people and it is going to bring in more money because you know it's a business. Yeah, but I don't think they'll be able to to make Toontown smaller though. It's pretty it's pretty small already. Uh, it's you know so if if anything either take it out or just add one more Star Wars ride in um Tomorrowland that's that's about all I can see I I don't agree with um them taking out Thunder Ranch just because they already took out a lot of the original old school stuff you know one of the things was uh, that li- little western area you know it was um to show you know the whole back in the days type thing because yeah. the what you call it was this a john sawyer's island what is it was it called the little island thing oh, before yeah that's yeah that got completely super changed around to add the pirate's lair which <laughs> of course since i'm a pirates fan uh i'm fine with it and the way they did it was cool i wish they did a little more but um they already took that out and so all that's really left as far as anything else is the little um western area and so i don't agree with them taking that out i agree more with taking out toontown toontown was added there later 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 in the in the show so not show but you know what i mean um so if well, anything take out toontown or just do the speeder thing in tomorrowland and like upgrading that area but i don't know what- but I, I see them doing more of uh the star wars land in tomorrowland i think that they could use that space more um the space that they have for where they have all the marvel things I feel like that is a waste of space. The innovation area. Oh, the innovation area. Yeah, I forget what the area was called. Everybody says that's pretty much a waste of space. I think it is that a they, waste of space. My uh, opinion is they should add Wally a Wally ride. <laughs> that would be cool. It fits with Tomorrowland. It does. Yeah. I don't know why they even have that area. It's like it seriously is a waste of space. Either use that for a Wally ride, or they can also use that to add another star wars theme ride since it's in tomorrowland so that whole section because it's right next to the it's right next to autotopia yeah. so um, it'll make sense if they do that could be I think more star wars one thing that might hinder that is i think there's a tomorrowland kind of themed movie coming out yeah I there is I saw, like a trailer for it so that might it would be like pointless if they like completely took out Tomorrowland and put Star Wars and then they have like this Tomorrowland movie come out. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying like if anything just add another add another ride, another Star Wars ride. They don't have to take out Tomorrowland completely just add another ride that goes with Star Wars. You know what I mean? Like you know how there's like the pirates the pirate in the Caribbean ride and then now there's the island they added another thing to go with it like that like I know there's star tours, so then they can add in the either the innovation and an Autotopia to go together, or maybe two other separate Star Wars rides because it's right next to where they do um, the the Jedi, the Jedi tra- training school for kids. Oh yeah, that's it's in right. that same area. Yeah, it is in the same area. So it might as well already just add that to be um, the Star Wars thing, because another thing that I did read was that people were were saying it was more people's comments where um if disney is going to also eventually add a marvel ride since now they have marvel so they were saying like oh since you know they bought marvel as well does that mean that they're going to add um a marvel ride or a marvel area which the right now in that innovation building that's where they had a, a few Marvel things. So they were saying like, oh, could that be where they'll add a Marvel ride? Which is, I'd rather they have a ride there than that innovation place. I really don't, don't see or understand why they even have that area. They should do it. 
So either add a Marvel ride there and an Autotopia at another Star Wars ride or, or something because that area pretty much needs to go. Correct me if I'm wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. But isn't X-Men Marvel? Yeah. Part of Marvel? Yeah. I would love to see X-Men in Disneyland. That would be cool. I think... Wolverine, X-Men. I think that would be freaking cool. I think eventually that's what they're going to try to do. Like, have some of the superheroes come out. Yeah. Just like sometimes you see, like, the stormtroopers walking around in Tomorrowland. Yeah. I think eventually they're going to try to try to put, like, people to dress up like the superheroes. Because that's what a lot, a lot of little little kids right now yeah. like and are into. Like in, in Six Flags, that's one of their main things is because they have a lot of the DC characters like Batman and them. That's like their main their main income is um, people buying and and wanting to go see them. Yeah, like they go and they buy the Superman capes or the Batman yeah. capes. And so I think... the merchandise. I think eventually Disneyland is going to do that too, is going to try to have some of the superheroes come out and be like, oh, to, to take photos and stuff. Like, they do for um, yeah. the Disney characters and all that. Wouldn't but that yeah. be, a, like, a little bit overkill, though, with, like, all the characters? You think there'd be too many characters out and about? No, just they'll with, probably like, just they use... They have, like, times? Huh? Yeah, they have times when... characters? It... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not talking about, like, oh, have all of them come out. Most likely, what's what, what's gonna happen yeah, is gonna hump. be the main ones. Like they're gonna probably have a, a Iron Man come out, someone dressed up as Captain America, stuff like that. But I don't think it's gonna Pretty be much like whoever has a movie out. Yeah, that's whatever movie is in the theaters yeah. during that time is the character that's gonna be right there. Like as I, I don't know, that's that's what I think. That's my my thing. But yeah. That's cool. I I think um, I think once they finish with Star Wars or once Star Wars like dies down a little bit, then they'll start like pushing hard on the Marvel. Well, I kind of feel like they already are. Like, isn't there that Agent Show Shield? Um, Captain America: Civil War is supposed to be coming out. Yeah, there's like movie after movie after movie coming out. The second Avengers. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, no, I saw I, another Fantastic I, Four. Um, they're already no, 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 freaking yeah. doing everything. They're doing everything they can, like in the in the entertainment industry. I was talking more about Disneyland still. Oh, Disneyland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I know. Huh? Little, add little things to it. Well, I'm, I'm already seeing like merchandise in Disneyland. Like they have a whole little section in the back where the Star Tours ride is, and it's all Marvel. Like you see Captain America and yeah, they Hulk just started that. implementing that. Yeah, so you're like it's already starting to pop out in Disneyland. All right, guys. So let's wrap it up. Yeah, so let us know what you guys think about the topics we discussed. Um, also, let us know what future topics you would like us to cover. Till then, game on. <laughs>